Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xcentaro here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now I hope all of you are doing well today because in this video we will actually be attempting to get a proper butter landing on Infinite Flight. Now for a butter landing you need really a few things to happen um, because I think the term itself within the Infinite Flight community is overused quite a little bit. So from what I've been able to research, the definition for a butter landing, this is from the, this is the one from the Urban Dictionary, but it's a very smooth landing where you flare up at least 20 degrees and then slowly and smoothly bring the nose of the aircraft down. So we're going to attend that in the 787-8 well, in the TUI livery at London Heathrow today. Um, but basically the term is pretty much an exceptionally smooth landing right in the right place in the landing zone you've got to flare up a little bit and everything so there's quite a little bit of technicality to it but we're going to give it a go here in the 7878 and which are going to first of all we're going to check our weight in mind so we're going to bring it down so low that this aircraft literally just floats for us so we're going to bring up our speed a little bit as well i'm going to have to turn that hot on as well or we can't see where we're going so that is our runway right there in front of us now we're going to slightly cheat and bring our wind down to zero turbulence off uh, we'll, we'll put some clouds because it will look cool, why not? Um, and we'll just gonna calibrate that again. And we're literally going to bring this plane in as well as we can to this runway. Now, we should technically be following the glide slope in. Um, we can see the glide slope on the side there as well on 1400 feet right now and closing. So there we go. Now, also, if this is your first time on the channel please do make sure you like subscribe again because all of the support does actually help me out quite a little bit and um, whether you knew it or not and we're going to bring our trim up to 14 percent there because that's what i'm used to flying with no idea if it's the right trim or not but we are coming in very slow but again we are a very light aircraft and look at that so we're, we're looking good on this landing approach right now so we're gonna have to keep up our flare and then slowly bring it down so hopefully we'll be able to do that once we land and that landing zone is just about coming in to reach for us now so I sort of want the little circle on the HUD to be right in front of the runway um, just so that means that I can pull up towards the last minute on that flare so I'm quite happy with the approach right now we are are we going to nail this first time because that would be really good if we can get this first time um, so we should have to little right turn there just make a few tiny adjustments because we again we want to be right on the center line and we are doing this in perfect conditions no wind no turbulence no nothing no um, no gusts, no, uh, literally nothing. So we're looking quite good here. We are a little bit below the glide slope, I can see there, but that's all right. I'm happy with that. And we're just going to slowly bring it in. Now we are getting a bit shaky here, but that's all right. I'm pretty sure I've got some good, good control over this aircraft here, and I'm happy with our speed. So we're going to start to flare up in just a little bit. Oh, we didn't like that. So we're going to slowly bring up our flare there. And we can do this. We're going to do this first time, hopefully. We do this first time we'll swap over to a different aircraft so there we go pull up a little bit perfect perfect right now there we start our flare now that was a wasn't quite the way i wanted to flare there but that's all right we can keep our speed up as well that's it oh we are looking really good i think we might miss the touchdown zone unfortunately oh okay oh okay right i'm not too sure whether we can take that oh okay we sort of hit the ground a little bit rough there so we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll go back in time 20 30 40 seconds um sorry 60 seconds wasn't that three lots of 20 and um, so we're going to try this one more time so i feel like the aircraft sort of just bumped into the ground that first attempt but again we had a little bit of trouble as well keeping the nose up so we're coming a little bit low again which is just what i want here i know we're way below the glide slope and way lower than we should be but this is going to make it a little bit easier for me to keep up the flare at slightly higher velocity here going at heading 270 or 271 it shows me right now so there we go coming in nice and we literally just want to kiss the runway we're still quite high and there we are now we're above the runway and just kiss it gentle kiss there we go oh okay perfect 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 there we go, slowly bring it, slowly bring it down. That is brilliant. And then the nose, boom. Okay, so I think we might have got it that second time there, actually. I think we made a good choice using the 787 to get that butter landing. I feel like it was a bit rough when we did make the landing. We'll go, we'll go into replay mode, see what replay mode has for us here. 
Okay, so hopefully we've got something good. Because if we did well here on replay mode, we'll move on to the A330. Because apparently that's an even easier aircraft to get a proper butter landing. Now, like I was saying earlier, the term butter landing itself um, is... Right, okay, that definitely did not happen. So this is the this is the first landing. We're going to have just a quick look at that. See, we came in quite nice, I think. I don't think we really came in that bad. Um, we're nearly here, just above the runway. And again, we're a little bit late, I think, on the touchdown zone for my liking. Um, but we'd literally come in nice and smooth. Wow. Do you know what? That first landing might have actually been a butter landing. That was smooth. What a landing that was. Okay, so here's our second attempt. So we'll just skip to a little bit later on. Here's our second attempt. Just coming in here over the thing. So this one felt a little bit smoother when we actually did it as well. So we might have even nailed this one even more. How have we done? So we're definitely better on landing zone-wise for this landing. Right on the landing zone where it looks like I want to be. And we're just going to slowly bring it in and kiss the ground, hopefully. Because we were definitely... Ooh, okay, do you know what? That's good. We kept the nose up. Slowly bring down the nose. That's it. That was a good landing, especially with the nose. Drop people, let me know whether landing one or two there was better. I cannot tell. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it one attempt as well in the A330. We're going to use ooh, the A3, we're going to use the A330 900, uh, 300 actually. Gave it in the end. But we're going to use, let's use a Cafe Pacific or why not? And we'll give it a go. Now, I don't really use the um, the A330s, the newer ones, because their HUD's a little bit weird in the cockpit. Now, it's worth noting that we are actually using HUD for this bit. But we're going to go in on final, and we're just going to calibrate here. Pull up. And again, we're going to go in settings. I'm just going to adjust literally this to everything onto zero. So we are literally flying light, as light as we can go. Going to weather that up. Okay, we've still got the weather set from the last time we used it. So we're going to... Come up here, we're going to bring our trim up to 14% like we had before. And we're going to come into the cockpit here. And I'm going to put the HUD on um, just because it makes it a little bit nicer for me to be using. And I'm going to point the um, nose up here a little bit more because it makes it a little bit easier and nicer for me to use. I don't really like the HUD when it points down like this. Um, it's a little bit weird for me. So we're going to just do this and hopefully figure it out. Um, so we're looking good. We are looking good on the runway there, actually. Well, maybe we'll, we'll try hard like this, see how it goes. Can't go awfully wrong in an A330, really, can we here? Look at this, such a lovely aircraft as well in itself. So we are, ooh, been steering a little bit too much there. Going to have to adjust this and make a few last-minute turns here to get in line with the runway to where we want to be. We are pointing our nose down, which isn't what I want to be doing. So we'll put our spoilers in flight mode. Drop our speed a little bit. Get them ready to be armed up. There we go. We'll arm them up now. Slowly point up as well. Okay, we're looking good. We're coming in a little bit too far to the right-hand side right now. So I've pointed us left a bit, making that little last-minute turn. Now, hopefully, we're going to get this landing. So we are dropping a bit too low for what I want to be now. Now we are too low. So, right, a few last-minute changes. We've got this. We're gonna. I think we're going to do it. So we're looking good, yep. So that's what this one looks like here. Just point that up. There we go, perfect. Just where I want it, just where we want it right now. And fingers crossed we're gonna be able to get this first time. Start with a little bit of a flare now. There we go. Okay, right, that flare might be a little bit too much right there. There we go, we're just going to come in on the HUD. Just for the final little bit here, because the gate, our main goal is to get that smooth landing. Right above the landing zone there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Slowly, slowly bring it down, slowly, slowly. Oh, oh, oh I, do you know what, people? I think that was better than the 787s that we had in the first go. That that was really good. That was really good. We've we got to look at replay mode. Hopefully the flight sim doesn't crash on us. I really think we did a better job on that one. I'm actually quite excited to see how this looks because we smashed that. I feel like we definitely smashed that landing. It would be really bad if we get into replay mode and it looks like we slammed it into the ground. But that felt good from a flying point of view. Um, for me, that definitely felt really good. Oh, and we are sinking again. 
Um, okay. Well, I know that definitely didn't happen. So here we are. Um, just coming in over the little bit there. Got all the plane spotters chilling. About to watch this Cafe Pacific play. Absolutely beast it. I mean, Cafe P Pacific fly triple sevens into Heathrow. I've been on one before now. I don't know if we are we on. We're all we're okay for centre line. We're a little bit off it, unfortunately. So I suppose that not quite a fully butter landing. But look at this. Ooh, you know what? That was good. I liked how that looks. That definitely looked very, very smooth. Um, I think that looked amazing. Do you know what? I'm very happy with that. I think we smashed it. So just to go over a bit of the criteria. So it is the, of a butter landing. It's a very overused term. But basically, you, you want to have a smooth landing in the touchdown zone, which is the area over here. I'm not too sure where in the touchdown zone, but I just know it's got to be in it. Um, ideally, towards the centre of it, like a bit further back over here is normally where I aim for. Um, just see what happens. Um, you need to also, after that, you need to like hold it and your f um, feet per minute have to be below a certain amount. So pretty much a butter is minus 100. So I don't know what ours actually were. Um, I might be able to see it. Oh, here we go. I can see it on our landing. So we were at minus minus 150 when we landed which is a little bit over um for the butter landing and we'll just see what we were at for the 2e one as well but um a butter a smooth landing is about minus 150 and um, butter is minus 100 apparently so we did sort of miss it unfortunately but that's all right that's perfectly fine that is definitely not how it happened but here we're at minus 150 again oh we there we go Oh, okay, I don't know what that one quite was. You guys have to tell me in the comments. This one might have been smoother. Yeah, so that one was literally on minus 100. So that second landing was pretty much a butter landing. And we should see that one more time. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, that was a quality landing, that one. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, especially if you're new. And I will see you in my next video. Good night.